emails. My husband was 49. Do a leap of physical, and we're talking about coronavirus and whether it's triggered your hypochondria. 08,288-291. Sharon emails, my husband was 49 and he had no health conditions and he died of swine flu in 2010. So yes, I am scared of coronavirus. Wow. Alan Cartwright in Black Gordon in Oxfordshire. Good afternoon. How are we doing? Now, you're, you've, you've got the fear, I understand. Yes. Um, oh, my wife's going mad about it because I keep talking to her. My friends are sick of hearing about it. But um, I've got two children. One goes to school, one goes to college. They both got on buses. It's going to come back to us. Yep. And what sort of situation are you living in? Open in the open or in flats? Or what? yeah, I mean, uh, I live on a small farm. Um, the, the story is my, my wife is diabetic. I have had pneumonia when the swine flu came round last time. I caught that and got pneumonia. So we're kind of at a high risk. If we get it, we have problems. Um, and I could technically just shut the doors, you know, live off the animals and the food here and not come out for the next year. And that way I won't, definitely won't get it and we definitely won't die. Um, you know, that, that's what we could do. If it was a zombie apocalypse, we, we, we wouldn't set foot out the door, but you can't see this thing and it's, it's going to come and get us. Yeah, you could have, you probably got a postman or postwoman, so you probably yeah. got visitors, so that even if you shut yourself off, it's still going to have some incoming, aren't you? So I, I don't know if that's possible, really, to totally isolate yourself. I think it is. Um, really? You know, post, post can be left in the post box. This thing doesn't stay alive for more than X amount of time. The post sits in it, then you go and get it. You know, wash your hands. I, 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 I know it seems weird and it's very low numbers at the moment, but there's no reason to think. If there's no cure and it spreads like wildfire and some people can carry it without symptoms, well, how do you know if you're sat next to somebody... Um, get on the bus, but say we have children which, which are going out into schools, and if the schools aren't shut, the schools will, the kids will pass on to adults, adults will pass on to everybody else, and we all get it. I can't see why we wouldn't. Sure, and nobody told me. Any, nobody said anything to me that makes me think that we won't get it. No, but even if uh, if you do, you probably survive it, won't you? You're a you're a young man. You sound like you're as fit as a fiddle. What? Well, I'm 47. I've had pneumonia uh, previously, and apparently you've had pneumonia before, and you get this, it gives you pneumonia again, and that's. A, Double pneumonia type situation that isn't good. Um, my wife's diabetic. We're, we're at a high risk issue. So if you're in the one percent that is a high risk, then it's a real problem. If you're not, I, never, I didn't have pneumonia before. Then yeah, I wouldn't be that worried about it. Okay. But when the swine flu when the swine flu came around last time, I got pneumonia. And if you get pneumonia when you've had it before, it's, it's I much didn't know worse. That. Okay, stay there, Alan. <clears throat> Kristen Bexley Heath. You you what you think we're overreacting here? Oh, I really do, Jeremy. And uh, listening to the guy that was talking just now, I'm sorry, but I couldn't help but stand here and roll my eyes at it. Well, he's I still mean, listening, so he's take, you, you uh, can okay, advise well, him, Chris. Well, well, well hang, hang on a minute, Jeremy. I, I had stage 4 cancer in 2004. I've got a type of blood cancer now, so my immune system is shot to bits. But I'm, I'm not going to stay in bed and pull the blanket over my, over my head. I'm going to get up and go out and live life. I mean, it's ridiculous. We're talking about, on, on the news, they're saying... The cases have risen to 53. There are more people living in my cul-de-sac than there are cases in the UK. Yeah. I mean, it's ridiculous. Great, Alan, is that helping at all? Um, no, it is not. I mean, it, it, it's 53 now, but if it's, if it's passed on to people easily by touching something they touch, well, we all touch things that other people touch all the time. If you're a high-risk category, you should be worried about it. Chris? Well, I'm not, I'm not worried about it. I'm concerned, and I think everybody should be concerned. Um, you don't treat these things with contempt, but I'm sure there are uh, people working on um, a vaccine for this uh, as we speak, and it'll only be a matter of time. Okay, thank you both. Liam in Leeds says my mother's best friend is so worried she's bought a hazmat.